Hello, Year 5. It is um, Friday and it is the day of our extended right. So you have got a really important job to do today. Um, news is getting through to London and people are starting to prepare to evacuate to leave the city. Politicians are trying to hush the stories of an inv alien invasion for fear of creating a national panic. Your report must expose the truth. You need to write it and send it to your editor today. <clears throat> he has already received one. Okay, your job as Henderson is to write a really great newspaper report. So, we've done our planning, we've gathered our notes, we're going to have a look at a waggle, okay? So this one, it's got the date at the top, Friday the 5th of February, 1899. The headline is, Mysterious Metal Object Strikes Common by Thomas Henderson, a Woking Times journalist. So as we go through it, <clears throat> just see what you can pick out. You might want to magpie it's up to you. It has been 13 days since a local astronomer first sighted strange eruptions on the surface of Mars. Two nights ago, a shooting star was seen travelling through the night sky. A trail of flames followed it before it made impact with Earth, just outside of London. Local people had gathered at the site and witnessed the extraordinary spectacle unfold. The question uttered on everybody's lips, are the explosions on Mars connected with the devastation on Horsell Common? The local astronomer Ogilvy had said that the chances of anything coming from Mars are a million to one. However, as time progressed, this appeared to be untrue. Ogilvy had discovered a large metal cylinder protruding from the common. The surrounding trees had been burnt to cinders or heavily scorched. Ogilvy claimed that the object seemed to pulse and radiate a great heat. It was at this point that he contacted me and I was able to investigate the situation with my own eyes. I was not ready for the horror that I was about to face. As a crowd of a hundred or more people gathered, the cylinder seemed to sizzle and emit billows of smoke. A small boy shouted, Look at its two luminous disc-like eyes. It's writhing like a snake. The monster glistened like wet leather and sank into the pit. The long night was suddenly cut short. Just before darkness fell, a small group of men holding a white flag tried to communicate with the hideous creature. Within seconds of their approach, there was a flash of blinding light and three puffs of greenish smoke rose from out of the pit. Before anybody could react, a heat ray tore through the men and each one seemed to disintegrate into thin air. They had been burnt alive. Amidst the screams and cries, a panicked crowd began to flee. Beams of light destroyed trees, nearby houses and people. Nobody knows how many casualties there are. Could London be next? Could this be the end of the world as we know it? Okay, um, there's also a sketch, an image there um, of the creature coming out of the cylinder. So you've got to include um, a picture in your newspaper report and a caption to follow. So the caption reads, the gray bulk of the Martian emerged from the cylinder. So you can see I've kind of worked hard on my layout. Uh, I've got an introduction, hopefully the five W's are in there. And then um, more detail, I've included some um, quotes Okay, so not reported speech, I've used direct speech or some quotes from different people. Um, it's written in the past tense and um, at the very end I've used uh, a rhetorical 
question for my kind of conclusion. Could London be next? Could this be the end of the world as we know it? Okay, so when you do your writing today, um, just remember these things. It's got to be a chronological report, so it must be in time order. You should use the five W's. Um, you could use a range of time conjunctions, and um, we spoke about that yesterday, and you might use reported speech from different eyewitnesses. If you want to use direct speech, a quote, obviously you can. Okay, fantastic guys. Um, it's Friday. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your writing. Um, I look forward to seeing you next week. And that just leaves me to say have a really, really fab weekend. And um, take care. Cheerio.